A few months back, I created a series of videos that described how to set up a WordPress blog in Amazon Web Services. And then the plan was to create a third video to show you how to create a snapshot of your volume as well as restore a snapshot if you ever terminated your instance. So videos one and two were published. Video three, I never got around to doing. And that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so let's get right into this. Uh, first thing we need to do, since I do not have any running EC2 instances, and I can tell that by going into the EC2 dashboard and I see zero running instances here. So first thing we want to do is spin up a new instance. So click on launch instances. And if I'm going too fast, you can click on that little exclamation point in the upper right hand corner to go to a video where I show you in detail how to go through this. But we want to go to the AWS marketplace here and search for WordPress because I am going to stand up the same type of server that I stood up before. Um, we'll go, doesn't really matter here. We're going to go to the T2 micro one. We'll leave everything the same here. Add the storage, no tags, security groups. We're good here and launch. And for the existing key pair, I am not going to SSH into one. So I'm going to proceed without a key pair because I'm not really planning on doing anything with this instance other than showing you how to create a snapshot and then restoring from a previous snapshot that I had taken. So this is going to take a, a few minutes here to start that instance. As you can see, it's in a pending state, so we'll come back when that is running. Okay, we're back here. It took about so four minutes for it to flip over to a running state and go through its status checks. Uh, so just for kicks, here's our public IP address. And if I go and show you what that looks like, you will see a um, WordPress blog set up with just a hello world post and nothing else on it. Go back to our EC2 dashboard here. And if we look under volumes, you're going to see the volume mounted for that running instance. And you'll see it's in use. Now, if you ever want to take a snapshot, which is a picture at a point in time of that volume, you click over here on snapshots. And you'll see that I have a snapshot that I previous created previously created back on May 4th before I terminated the EC2 instance. And if you um, want to create a new snapshot, you create new snapshot. You can give it, you select what volume you want to take a snapshot of. And that is the only volume that we have running right now. So you select that, give it a name, give it a description and create it. I'm not going to create the snapshot because there's really nothing out there to create, but that's all you have to do to create the snapshot. To restore from a, a snapshot that you previously took, it's a little bit more involved, but not overly complicated. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our instance, which is running. And I want to stop that instance. So all we're doing here is stopping it from running. It still exists. I haven't terminated it. It's just not in a running state anymore. All right, so our instance is now stopped. We're gonna go over to the volumes and there is the volume that's attached to that EC2 instance. And I just wanna detach it. I can let that do its thing. And then I'm going to go back into snapshots. 
and select, which it's already selected, the snapshot that I want to restore from. You have to click on Actions, and you need to create a volume for that snapshot. And you'll see here, um, it's asking what availability zone you want to create that in. And I need to create that in the same availability zone that my instance is running in. So I'm running in US East 1A. I want to make sure that volume I create is in that same zone. Otherwise, you'll have some problems. So I'm going back to snapshots, actions. I want to create a volume. It defaults to 1A, and you can see here, you can select any of the different regions. So we want to keep it as 1A. I'm going to keep everything else the same and create. And you'll see volume successfully created. Fantastic. And if I go over here to volumes, I see I have two volumes running. This is my volume that I thought I terminated that, or I thought I got rid of it. This is the one that we set up when we set up the instance. This is the one that we just created from our snapshot. I want to attach that volume to my instance. Dev SDF and see what happens. So now that we've attached it to that instance. We want to start it up again. And that's what I was afraid of. I need to have it in Dev SDA1. So let's just copy that, cancel here, go back to our volumes. Um, we want to detach it. And I'll show you what I did here in a minute or what I'm doing. Um, and while we're here, I want to get rid of this. I thought I did this before. Delete it. Deleting. Cool. All right. So that's the old volume that I thought I got rid of before. Not sure why that's still there. Um, now let's go through and attach it again to our stopped instance. And the device type is what it told us, SDA1, attach. And it is now attached to our running instance. And you can see the volume ID is ED1. And I don't know if we can see that if we go back to our instances here. Uh, no. You can see our root device dev SDA1. I thought it showed it, but I guess it does not. So let us start our EC2 instance. Sweet, that's working. And it's going to take three or four minutes here for it to start up. Now that our instance is running, it's still going through uh, some status checks here, but it's up and running for us to take a look at. So if I go down here to our new public IP address that was assigned and I go to that, we should see something similar to what we saw earlier, our WordPress blog. Um, titles are different. And here's our posts that I had as part of my snapshot from the original WordPress blog that I set up within EC2. So I took that snapshot back in May and terminated the instance after that. Haven't used it since, but I've left my snapshot out there in case I ever want to come back to this and was able to restore it. We covered how to create a new snapshot and how to restore from an existing snapshot. And just remember, there's a few steps you have to go through. You have to create a volume from that snapshot. You have to detach 
the volume from the running EC2 instance. And then you have to attach the new volume that you created from the snapshot to that EC2 instance. So hopefully you found that helpful. Be sure you subscribe as I'm planning on cranking out some more videos here in the near future.